morning, everyone, such as it is. It's currently 2.30 a.m. in Northwest Baltimore, and we're experimenting with our body's ability to function without sleep. It's also stupidly cold outside, which doesn't help. No, but in a few hours' time, we will be leaving the cold behind us. In you go. Be right back. This is why you want to make reservations with airport parking well in advance. 3.16 a.m. Airport shuttle. As of now, our 6 a.m. flight is on time. We'll see how long that lasts. Lest you didn't read the video title before you clicked on it, we are headed this morning to Honolulu for Disney's Alani Resort. Super duper excited, but before we get there, we do have a layover in Las Vegas. Very brief one, one hour, yeah. and we're changing planes. No idea how that's gonna go. We haven't changed planes in Vegas ever. I actually don't think I've ever been to the Vegas airport. Maybe I have. I would have been very young. I wouldn't have been in control of my itinerary. Katie's off getting breakfast for us right now, and then we'll be right on the plane in about an hour. Arby's breakfast biscuit. Trying something new. At a certain point, it's just about getting food in your stomach. It's not about what the food is. But this isn't bad. We are almost at 24 hours without sleep at this point. Uh, flights that are longer than five hours. Five and a half hour flight, and then a change plane, and then six more. If needed, four oxygen masks will drop from a compartment overhead. To activate the flow of oxygen, pull down on the mask until the plastic tubing is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Secure the mask with the elastic strap. Thank you for your attention. Now sit back, relax, enjoy this five hour flight into Las Vegas. Welcome aboard. That's the thing about Vegas, kids. You can't enter or leave Vegas without knowing it's Vegas. No confusion here. Oh, that buffalo does not look trustworthy. He is not out for your game. First flight went about as well as it could have gone. We made good time, we got some good views of the Rocky Mountains, snow-capped, I might add, and I got to watch the first half of Crazy Stupid Love, which I'd never seen before. Pretty good. We're now waiting for our second flight out of Vegas, just chilling at the gate. Plenty of time, no issues with the transfer, so as long as this flight takes off on time, I think we will be golden. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the Hawaiian flights are the longest domestic flights that Southwest offers. And because of that, you actually get a Southwest snack pack as opposed to just the little snack mix that they usually give you on shorter flights. We have Parmesan, peppercorn, gourmet cheese spread, olive oil and sea salt slow bake crackers to put the spread on, and sun-kissed fruit snacks in addition to the usual snack mix. There's also some unique alcoholic beverages for Hawaiian flights, but unfortunately, our flight did not have those alcoholic beverages available today. requirement of entering the state of Hawaii is to make a declaration of everything you're bringing with you. So Southwest flight attendant just passed this document out. We all need to complete and sign one. Flight number is 354. Flight number is 354 and then the date is December 17th and it's one per family. And they make it as easy as they can. Coming in for a landing. We have made it. After 13 hours, we have arrived safely here in Honolulu. Now we're still an hour away from the Disney Alani Resort, but we have a limo ride with Platinum Limousine Services already chartered to take us directly from baggage claim to the resort. Get ready, fam. It looks like the baggage claim is outside. Ready for 82 degrees? Up from the original 32 we started at? Whoa! This is the prettiest airport. It has a garden. I see the waterfall. Do you see it? I see that waterfall over there. Yeah. Oh. A little oasis. Only been here 15 minutes. Already taken aback by the natural beauty of the Hawaiian Islands. 
Let's grab our bag. Also, I lied. The baggage claim actually is inside. You have to go through the outside to get back to the inside. It's a very cool airport. That's me. Ugh, it's stuck. Disneyland, is that you? Might be. No, it's got a red tag thingy on it. Oh, that's here? Oh, yeah. On our way to our prearranged transportation with the aid of our lovely assistant. Oh, Oof. Oh, Thank you for collecting us. Very excited to... Be here. We left uh, Baltimore when it was 32 degrees this morning. Yes, we actually left 13 hours ago. Oh, long day, long day. <laughs> well, and the day has rolled now, back yeah, in time, so it just keeps get going. Now a longer day here. Wow, that was not a long ride from the airport. No, I thought it was going to be much longer, actually. Yes, yes. <laughs> so. Saturday, no traffic. So ah, okay. that's the secret. You guys, the Disney package we got here is incredible. I, I am excited for our room. We're going to go up there in just a second. We haven't seen it yet, but the resort is incredible. The amenities are incredible. We have a whole list of activities, and we got free buttons for our first stay, DVC, with Alani. <sighs> We've already seen a ton of really cool stuff here, but we didn't shoot much of it. We're trying to get our bearings and then we'll take you guys around as soon as we've gotten into the room and settled a little bit. But my gosh, you guys, this place is incredible! Here we go. Welcome home. Whoa, it does smell. Oh, it's got like Polynesian theming. This is the same headboard at the yes! Polynesian room. Yes! We may or may not have mentioned that we did get an ocean view room. Holy moly! Yeah, I knew you were going straight for that balcony. There's like lots of chocolate blocking on here. I mean, that's probably for the best. We're on the ninth floor. Holy moly! Watch the sun set from here. This is the closest we will ever be to having a room that's like integrated into a Disney park. We are seated right on top of that lazy river. We can watch the entire world go by from here. Holy moly. All right, we gotta get unpacked, but before we do, we should do a quick room tour before we totally screw up the room. We also left our bags outside. Oh, did we? We should also fix that. Right, we're not doing a full resort tour of Alani while we're here. It's been done, and to be perfectly honest, there's so much ground to cover, I think it would exhaust it would us. Be like six hours. But we are gonna give you a room tour. You're gonna be seeing everything through our eyes because we've not had two steps inside this room as you've seen thus far as well. So let's go ahead and walk around the room and see what we can see. This is a deluxe ocean view studio. This is our closet. Looks like we've got the standard. Disney closet amenities. This is the iron, ironing board. We've got a suitcase rack, which I'm sure Katie will be quick to use. And we've got our standard Disney safe. Looks like we've also got some laundry bags there. I think this light will turn on when we fully open this door since it looks like it's rigged in, but we've got all our suitcases here right now, so. You see what's on the floor? Slippers! Oh, we got Disney slippers! We could keep these! In our little kitchenette here, we've got an ice bucket, we've got two wine and or champagne glasses, we've got coffee fixings, including filter. That's for the use of this Mr. Coffee down here. Is this tea or coffee? Tea. Tea. English is breakfast tea. Is adult tea or coffee. We do have Joffrey's back there as well though, as is standard for Disney. We also have a sponge, a hand towel, and dishwashing detergent so that we can cleanse dishes if we choose to use them. We do have a sink in which to do said cleansing. I like the style of it actually. Usually they have the big basin sinks. This is kind of more Delicate. compact. Fake drawer here, but underneath we do have Trash can. A nice size trash can. And fire extinguisher. In case of emergencies. More to our liking is this massive mini fridge right next door. It does have a freezer as well. Ooh, that's pretty well sealed off. Yeah, we can keep food from the restaurants in here for a couple of days and reheat it in our Frigidaire microwave, which is pretty sizable as well. Up top. <sighs> We have a toaster and 
Hot water pot. Hot water pot. For the making of all breakfast things. We do have our standard Disney barn door separating the bathroom from the main room. We have a full tub with a waterfall shower head and a regular shower if you need it. But who wouldn't use the waterfall shower head when given the choice, really? I do love the kind of cobblestone like pattern here. Yeah. And also the Alani print on the curtain is pretty cool. We have these seashell looking lights. I don't know if they're actually supposed to be seashells, but that's what I see. See? We've got tissues. We've got H2O, what's left of them? Because if you haven't heard, Disney's H2O partnership is ended. So I think the inventory they've got is the inventory we've got. If you're not taking these home from the Disney resorts at this point, you are wasting opportunity. Separate and distinct here, we do have H2O Plus facial soap from the Alani Resort specifically. And of course, we have our sink for use in washing things. Underneath the sink, you've got a storage space here. You've got extra towels here, although they will bring more if you need them. And then we've got extra toilet paper over there, hair dryer up there, and just above the sink, is a full-size mirror. Toilet area is also separate and distinct from the broader bathroom resources, and it's pretty spacious in here. I mean, you would probably only have one person in here at a time, but maybe the other person comes to look at the art. Isn't that cool? Excellent pressure, as I'd expect from the House of Mouse. Speaking of art, I should point out the pattern on the floor is also pretty cool. This is carpeted all the way through the room. Very Hawaiian in nature. Gives you a real Lilo and Stitch vibe walking right in the door. We've got our dress length mirror right here just outside the bathroom. And at this point, we are into the main room. Now we've got one nightstand and one tall lamp. That tall lamp does not replace a nightstand, but it does give off quite a bit of light. The bed looks like it has the standard Disney amount of storage space underneath, which we will be using momentarily. If I'm not mistaken, the headboard is actually the same headboard that they use in the new Polynesian rooms for DVC. So it's got still the Hawaiian influence, but we're actually in Hawaii, which somehow makes it so much cooler. Arguably the second best thing about the room is this carved out Mickey playing ukulele, which is your desk lamp. Just above it, yet another mirror. No one needs to see me this often. One thing we have noticed is that the Alani rooms are not as decked out with USB ports as the Disney World Resort rooms. So we have one here, there is one over by the nightstand, and then you have AC outlets like this all over the place, as you might expect. Here on the only nightstand affixed to the bed is your clock, which does have a USB outlet as described. We have our desk lamp, or I guess nightstand lamp, then we've got our standard list of enhanced cleaning protocols by the Disney Vacation Club Resort, in this case, Olani. We've got a notepad. Can we check in here? Ah, the Holy Bible. Last but not least is this little living area here. This mural on the wall looks fabulous and really complements the design of the room. Right below it, we have cushions that do the same on a couch that actually folds out to be I believe a queen size bed. If not a queen, it might be a full. But I know it's a bed. And then here on the footstool, we have the One Day at Disney art book, which is very, very cool. We have a copy of this at home. Katie also reminded me that under said One Day at Disney book are extra pillows and blankets. The bed linens for the couch. Exactly. Presumably for anyone else you want to put in the room. Tons of space. All right, Katie has something that she wants to show you guys. She has not told me what it is, so it could be literally anything. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't expect it was bad. It's a gift. Okay. Underneath our TV on this dresser here. This we got a flower clip. For us. <gasps> a pin! I'm going to butcher that name. A but it's complimentary one of... pin. I love housekeeping at Alani. That's one so of cute. Duffy, Duffy's friends, so that's mine coming with me. I'm going to take my little clip. Ta-da! Aww, it's cute. I may have to adjust that. Oh, actually, that didn't turn out too bad. Oh, it's cute. I know we've already been out here, but I want to go out again because it is obviously the best part of the room. This view cannot be beat. In all my years of Disney resorts, I've never seen anything quite like this. 
vacation. All right guys, full disclosure, we have been traveling for more than 15 hours now. We are tired, we are hungry, and we smell bad. So we are going to pause here, put a pin in this, go clean up, go unpack, get ourselves settled, and then we will pick back up with you walking around the resort. We're not gonna do a full resort tour, but we will show you our first impressions walking around the resort as we go. Be right back. We are rested, recovered, and currently browsing the pin selection here at Kalika's store, which is the gift shop. What a selection it is. My goodness. Just to do this pan will take half an hour. Of all the pins I was seeing, this is the one that calls to me as a passive collector. It's just so pretty and dynamic. Also remember we are in the tropics. It does rain often here in Hawaii, so we do have the Disney Parks ponchos available here and umbrellas, in case you forgot yours at home. They are, of course, going to be as expensive as they would be if you purchased them in the theme park. So bear that in mind. Try to bring your own if you remember. But if you don't, here they are. Look at the little Duffy Bear Santa hat. It's got little ears. Oh, they're so soft. There's also a shirt here with the entire Duffy and Friends lineup saying Aloha Kalikimaka. We are straight up bleeding Christmas merch in here. This is the ornament set. We've got a tiki, we've got Mickey and his beach snowman, and then these bottom two look like glass ornaments that have Hawaiian symbols on them. Cute little set. This is, however, the best of all the ornaments here because you can immortalize forever your Alani-specific Mickey desk lamp. So cute. We've got Alani-specific pride items over here. Look at this tinny-looking rainbow hat. It's pretty cool. Same deal for the Pride specific Alani water bottle. It's got the Hawaiian flowers on it. Of the Pride stuff though, this button down is arguably the best looking product on the line. I really like this. I would actually wear this because, you know, it looks good. Plus Pride. I have also seen no less than four lounge flies since walking into this shop. All Alani specific. This one is the Duffy and Friends one. This lounge fly is the Olu Mel lounge fly. Look at his little fedora. Or is it a bucket hat? It might be a bucket hat. Either way, he's out on an adventure. I love it. The little ukulele for the key tag. But the best of the best lounge fly must surely be this Stitch character bag with the lei. Alani branded. That's so cute. And since I know that the hardcore lounge fly collectors like our friend Hannah from Hannah Enchanted care deeply about the lining, here's a sneak peek of what that looks like. Little flower, pineapple, stitch with his ukulele pattern. Found these Alani ears towards the back. They're adorable and I do like the sequin pattern of the starfish there. But they look frightfully small for one size fits most. The last lounge fly here is the Alani specific, this kind of jungle pattern. With the sequin ears, the sequin bow. It's mini style. These remind me of the uh, Minnie Mouse main attraction. Kind of looks very Jungle Cruisy. Now this is, I believe the appropriate term is a pattern print. Because you do have a hidden Mickey here and then a bunch of leaves. But over here, hidden Mickey is a little bit higher up. There's one right there. Yeah. There should be a hidden Mickey on each of these bags. But you got to be careful which one you select if you care about such patterns. <gasps> I'm buying this. I'm buying this. There can be no question. I'm immediately purchasing this. There's a couple of different spirit jerseys here for your selection of preference. But this, this is the winner in my book. The Ohana Alani with all of the Duffy and Friends patterned on it. That's something you can't get anywhere else. For nothing like it exists elsewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Oh my goodness, hi! It's so good to see you. Oh yes, we absolutely can. We will, we're looking for Hey Hey too. Don't worry, he's sleeping. We have the coconut shell on his head to keep him out of Okay, good. We've accounted for Hey Hey, good. Yeah. 
It is a little windy today, so it looks like they moved the characters inside in these conference rooms. We wouldn't have known that if not for the Tune Finder line that we can call from our room. 2447. Call to find out where the characters are. Because sometimes they pop up in the outside areas, sometimes they pop up in the inside areas. Hard to tell what's gonna be what on which day. Out into the great wide open. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Hawaii. It's paradise. Look at the size of the koi. This garden is beauteous. I didn't even know this was here. No, we should be able to see this from our room. So we'll have to look better next time. Why does no one ever vlog this? People should be vlogging the koi pond. We're just following the garden walk here, looking for something to eat. Katie's looking very Hawaii ready with her flower and her floral pattern. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, after almost 14 hours on an airplane, pretty much anywhere would feel like paradise. But this, this is a step above. We're just walking along the outer perimeter here. All of this constitutes the water park, which we've really been looking forward to. But because it's a little bit later in the day, most things are starting to shut down. This is the little kitty fortress. It's got a name, I just don't know what it is. I'll find out later. We'll put it in the description if so. Menehune Bridge. Oh, Menehune Bridge. Cute. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whew. Look at this. Well, you guys might not even be able to see this because of how the camera auto focuses and decolorizes everything, but I'll try to get an angle that, yeah, kinda. I mean, let's just say that the camera doesn't do it justice. So we've just sat down for dinner at Off The Hook. They serve entrees from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I've gotten for myself the Hawaiian barbecue chicken, Portuguese sausage garlic fried rice, grilled zucchini, and roasted Maui gold pineapple. Plus, of course, the chicken. Katie got herself the Hawaiian bento box, kalua pork, ahi poke, mac salad, steamed rice, waipoli greens, papaya seed dressing. This is huge. It is. It looks... I, I mean, that's more than you're going to be able to eat in a uh, sitting. I thought this would be like half this size. You're used to bento boxes like the box lunch side. <laughs> we also got some drinks because vacation. I went straight for the pina colada because that's like my go-to vacation drink, especially for the tropics. Katie got a beverage and a pineapple. Coconut mojito. Coconut mojito. How is it? Delicious. <laughs> it's frozen. So it's like a frozen mojito inside a pineapple, garnished with an extra lime. It's really good. You can get any of the signature cocktails here at Olani upgraded to a pineapple for $12? Yes. So this was a $15 beverage that we put 12 more dollars into. It's now into. a $27 beverage. But worth vacation. it, worth it, I think, for the vacation experience. No sooner had I told Katie, gee, I should have brought the light, then they bring out this little mood light and set it on the table. They think of everything here at Alani. This chicken is so good. So good. It is grilled and barbecued to perfection. So good. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and cut the vlog here. We may or may not go to the Whirlpool since it is open until 10 o'clock tonight, but I'm not expecting that footage to turn out incredible since it is pretty dark over there and we only have the GoPros to work with. We've had a very full day of travel. We've had about a quarter day's worth of fun at the resort. I'm just so glad to be here. We had a great dinner at Off the Hook for our first we did. meal. The entree size was pretty big and, and the price was, you know, up there. High. But honestly, Disney high. We're pro probably both gonna have leftovers for lunch tomorrow, so if you think about it being two meals, it's not so bad. Now we are expecting a little bit of weather over the next couple of days. Hopefully that doesn't derail too many of our plans, but even if it does, we have a whole week here, a couple excursions off the resort property, but mostly we're gonna be soaking up whatever Alani has to offer us. So we'll have a lot of vlogs coming to you over the next couple of weeks. Stick with us, guys. It's gonna be tons of fun. Until then, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every night, adventure. We'll see you next time. Aloha! Aloha.